In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to print a shipping label through PayPal. So for this particular account, this is a Canadian account, uh, so it may vary in the look or user interface if you are using a US account, uh, but it should pretty much be the same process. So for this account, this is a brand new account. So you'll see here there is a notice here letting you know that in order to receive your money, you have to actually fulfill the order. So the money is actually on hold. So although I did just do a, a transaction, you don't actually see it here because the money is on hold. So there are two ways that you can go ahead and fulfill an order. So I'm going to show you both ways. So the first way is if you only have one transaction, you can actually just click on the transaction because it will be the first one at the top and you can go ahead and open that up and you will see here that you have the option to click on this button that says ship so we're going to click on that and then it will open up to this page but before I go ahead and do that I'm going to show you the other way so the other way if you have multiple transactions and you know you want to see all of them you will actually click on activity activity will bring up all of your transactions so because it is a new account you'll see that it says get your money this may say print shipping label so we're actually going to click on get your money and you'll see here it gives you two options product or service or virtual product so for this particular item it is a product so we're going to click on product and then you'll see that it says add tracking info or print shipping label so because we're actually printing the shipping label through paypal we're going to click on print shipping label and as you can see, it brought us to the same screen that the other one brought us to. So it's the same destination, destination, just a different path to get to it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and continue on. So as you can see, there's two options here. So there's net parcel shipping and PayPal shipping. So for this video, I'm actually going to click on PayPal shipping. If you want to try out net parcel shipping, you're free to do so. I've never used it, so I'm not going to um, proceed with that one. We're going to go ahead and click on PayPal shipping. So by default, it will have the address that is already connected to your PayPal account here. So we are going to be using Canada Post for this particular tutorial. And it gives you the option of putting your Canada Post account if you have one. And if you don't have one, you put no uh, so that you can create one. So we're going to select no so that I can show you what that looks like. It will populate this form with the information that you already have in PayPal and then it will ask you to put your estimated uh, number of packages that you'll be shipping and you want to fill that out. It doesn't really matter what you put. Uh, then you're going to go ahead and accept the terms and conditions and then agree and complete your registration. If you already have an account, this will happen. If not, you should be fine and good to go. So because we have an account with Canada Post already, we're going to click on yes and then continue. You're going to fill in your information and then click continue and agree and accept the registration terms. So once you've completed that process, you'll now be able to click on PayPal shipping and actually see this form here that you will need to fill out. So I personally recommend always sending out your packages with tracking. So for Canada Post, if you are going to be sending within Canada, you can choose expedited parcel or regular parcel and they both come with tracking. If you are shipping to somewhere in the US, and I will change the address here so you can see what it looks like. So now I've gone ahead and put a US address. So now it will give me the US shipping options. So you don't ever want to mess with this. The only thing that you may need to add from time to time, because um, I've seen this in the past, is a phone number. So if PayPal did not get the phone number from your website, you will have to add that in manually and it will prompt you to do so. So as you can see here, we have the US options. So we have expedited parcel, truck packet, and USA Air small packets. This option does not come with tracking to my knowledge, but Track Packet USA does, so I always recommend using Track Packet USA. Or you can use Expedited Parcel depending on the size of the package because if the size of the package is too large, you cannot use Track Packet USA. So these are the two options that I would recommend depending on the size of the package, and it will let you know if um, the size of the package is too large 
it won't allow you to ship with track packet USA and you will have to change it to expedited parcel. So here you're just going to put in the dimensions of your packet. So I always put it to pounds and ounces. So let's say for instance it is zero pounds and 10 ounces for this package and I have it set to track packet and then maybe the dimensions are 10 by 7 by 2 and that's in inches and then we're going to go ahead and click on calculate shipping costs and as you can see the prompt to put in the phone number of the customer is there so you want to go ahead and put that phone number in um, and that should be on your website. So you can have your website open and grab that phone number and just copy it and paste it in here. And then you're gonna click on ship to this address. And then again, click on calculate shipping cost. So as you can see here, it has given me a price for this shipping. So it is giving me 1706 for the track packet USA for a package that is 10 ounces with these dimensions. Now if I were to change it to expedited parcel and we're going to do the same dimensions you can see the difference in price so we're going to go ahead and calculate shipping costs again and you'll see that it's $19.97. So if you do USA small air packets you'll see the price for that in a second. You want to make sure you go ahead and change this back to pounds because it does default to kilograms so change it back to pounds and it will be back into the inches, pounds, and ounces and then we're going to go ahead and calculate the shipping cost and as you can see it's only $11 when you do it without the tracking and it takes five to eight business days so it's up to you what you want to ship with but i highly recommend always shipping with tracking um so that's the option that i like to pick if it's a smaller package so we're going to go ahead and calculate shipping costs and then it also makes you put in the customs information so you want to click on here and you have to fill this out so normally i just write something simple like you know lip gloss and then the amount, and then the value of the package. So I usually include the shipping in this. I'm not sure if you're supposed to or not, but I put in the value, whatever the value is, and then you go ahead and put the pounds and the ounces again. Select origin, so that would be the country that you are located in. Select the province, and then you wanna go ahead and put the HS code. So to find your HS code, I'll just quickly show you how you can go ahead and do that. It's not that complicated. Just go into Google, type in Canada Post HS code or whatever your, whatever your postal service is. And uh, you can click on find harmonized system code, which is what your HS code is. And then for destination, I'm just going to put United States. And I'm going to put cosmetics. because That's what this shop is selling. And then you'll see it will give you options. So eye makeup, lip makeup, manicure, pedicure, other. So I'm going to click on lip makeup and continue. And then it's going to ask for the country of origin. I'm going to put Canada. But you see here it already has the HS, uh, HS code. So I'm going to copy that HS code here. But once you go ahead and continue, you'll see that it will give you more details. So the HS code that we're going to put in is going to be this one right here. So we're going to go back and copy and paste that in. And then we should be good to go. So I'm going to save the customs information. And then as you can see, it says view completed customs form. So we already filled that out um, and you're good to go. And all you have to do is click confirm and pay. I'm not going to go ahead and do that here. But once you do that, it will bring you to the actual shipping label that you can print. And I believe you only have like 24 hours to actually sh uh, print the shipping label. So you want to go ahead and do it right away. If you run out of ink or something, save it to your desktop or something so that you can print it later. Uh, but you want you, you do have a limited time to print the shipping label. So that's pretty much it. That is how you print your shipping label with um, Canada Post through PayPal. And if you have any questions, let me know.